transmission when the infected person you know um, excretes the feces from the feces the live bacteria you know is carried by the house flies and uh, that gets uh, you know into the fresh food and water contaminates it and uh, through through which it spreads the disease so that is uh, one important aspect with respect to transmission after that when it gets inside a person it causes lesion in the insect intestines when intestine has lesions it moves to the blood from the blood to the different organs of the body so that is the what i can say the second important aspect about typhoid the causative agent and the transmission moving to the symptoms let me tell you first of all my dear friends that it may take around 1 uh, to 2 weeks to develop the symptoms in many specific cases we observe that uh, it requires around 3 week to show up uh, many symptoms so symptoms vary here generally high fever even up to 40 degree celsius that is 104 degree fahrenheit is observed with respect to typhoid then we have stomach pains with the, the infected person cough headache sore throat you know sore throat basically means pain in the throat uh, with uh, inflammation abdominal pains can also be seen loss of appetite vomiting are some of the major symptoms which we can observe with respect to or you can say the typhoid disease moving ahead my dear friends let me tell you uh, around 3% of the care no people infected with typhoid later they become asymptomatic that means they do not show any symptoms but they happen to carry the you know back live bacteria in their feces and for many years so they spread the disease and rather one more point is not what to mention here is that people who are infected generally if they do not wash their hands properly definitely the contaminated fingers you know through which they can definitely infect many others all right so that is also important here my dear friends the diagnostic tool which is used for the treatment uh, in fact uh, the diagnosis of this uh, disease typhoid is viral generally viral test so it's a anti body antigen test so on what basis it works there are so many uh, generally two different types of viral test one is slight agglutination test and two agglutinate agglutination test generally they go with uh, slight agglutination test uh, so wherein we can say the antibodies of salmonella typhi in the blood infected blood are checked by taking into consideration the salmonella typhi antigens so when there is agglutination or blood clot that says that the this was no positive um, uh, what i can say diagnosis of this disease the disease is present anyway one more point i want to mention my dear friends is that generally in the first week of infection the typhoid uh, cannot be so easily identified generally it is uh, it shows uh, negative okay coming back to again uh, preventive measures see it's very uh, simple uh, you know hand washing regularly and good sanitation programs good public awareness programs hygienic practices and also who endorsed uh, from 1999 the tavoral the typhoid vaccine so to prevent this disease so furthermore the role of non governmental organizations and also the health programs which are given by the government of india and many other nations across the world are important to you know follow so that we can prevent the disorder furthermore treatment when we talk basically many antibiotics are used to you know treat this uh, disease generally use antibiotics are azithromycin fluoroquinolones cephalosporins and many other antibiotics 
but today uh, again uh, the bacteria has become resistant to so many antibiotics yet uh, in concentrated form the antibiotics are given and many other uh, no strong antibiotics are given to treat the disease anyway so further treatment you know if there are intestinal perforations surgery becomes very much necessary so unless uh, you know operated the perforations are you know uh, are not treated so anyway so these are the important uh, points pertaining to the disease typhoid my dear friends in the coming classes we are going to discuss uh, few more bacterial diseases you know like uh, pneumonia and other diseases uh, and of course viral protozoan helminth also fungal also we are going to discuss keep updated uh, uh, with the biology classes uh, youtube channel uh, thank you very much